Hello folks and welcome back. Today we're going to cook a sugar pit pork chops with a bubble and squeak mash and a burnt apple sauce. So we've got our cornbread meats sugar pit pork. These be pork chops have been uh, marinated in a sugar syrup for 21 to 30 days. I'm on the loin and then it's cut down into chops. We've got our apples and we've got our bacon, our onions and our cabbage for our bubble and squeak and some mash that was left over from another dish. So we're, first of all, the apples are going to take the longest, so we'll get them into the pan, into the oven. It's 180 degrees for about 30-35 minutes. I'll get them on the go. And once they come out of the oven, we're just going to put them in the processor, puree them down, and add a wee squeeze of lemon. So first of all, we're going to get our pork chops in on the go. So again, we've got a wee splash of our broiler gold oil. And Bring it up to heat. And these meat chops have been French trimmed, which means that all the meat's been taken off the bone here. And in work, I usually buy those in a loin, a full loin, and we cook them in the oven for about 90 minutes. The full loin for 90 minutes at 150 degrees. So I'm going to buy two of these. I'm going to wash my hands. And then we stay. Just going to give them two or three minutes on each side, and we're going to set them to the side and let them cook out like we do a bubble and squeak. So we just get a wee bit of salt on it and some black pepper. And just turn them over to the other side. Turn up the heat. A little bit more salt and black pepper. And you need to cook these till they're just moist, they're just ready to go. You don't overcook them, they'll become dry, really, really dry. You want to keep them nice and moist as you would like a chicken breast. So we're just going to cook it for a couple of seconds. On that side, then we're going to render the fat. So rendering the fat is really just cooking the surface of the fat, getting the heat into it so it's not uh, cold and jelly like. Right? That's right, cook, and we just bring the fat that side under a pan and just seal it. And do the other one. That's our four chops. Pan fry on both sides. We're going to move them over. And we're going to just cover them with our lid. And then it's just going to act like an oven. So it'll just take about five or six minutes to cook as we chop. And now we're going to move on to our bubble and squeak. So again, a wee splash of oil in our pot. And we're going to bring up the heat. We're going to fire off our onions. Smoky bacon. Smoky bacon is really lovely. Lovely flavour to it. And this is also from Cornbrook Meats. And we're going to add cabbage. I'm using cabbage today. You can use uh, Brussels sprouts and just shred them down. I like these better. Cabbage. We're just going to fry that down to get it all nice and soft. And 
We'll just take our chops and turn them over here. And we'll sit them there or not. Let's we'll sit over there on again. So you just want to cook them nice and slowly there. When you're cooking them in the oven, it'll be 180 degrees for about 10, 12 minutes. So that's our cabbage. Just cook them down now. You don't know how to eat a slice of butter. And make sure it's real butter and not a vegetable based butter. Vegetable oil based. And then you need a load of cracked black pepper. Uh, a lot of flavour to this the cabbage. Now we're going to add our mash. It's just the leftover from the previous dish I made. You just keep it whatever and then you can make up a wee bit of squeak or a wee fish cake or anything at all really. On top of shepherd's pie. These wee bubbles creeks are lovely, you can make them up. Make this up, let it cool down and form it into a wee cake, and then you can bread it. This is absolutely gorgeous as well, bread it and deep fry. But today we're just going to make a wee bubble and squeak. Cover our dish for our pork. That's it, really. It was nice and simple. We're just Pan fried our onions or bacon, cabbage, add it to mash, and you see it's catching a wee bit at the bottom of the pan. I just that's not a problem, just let it work away. And we're just going to set that to the side and then see how our pork chops are now. Turn down our heat, and then we let off. The wee chops are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, that's then perfectly cooked. I'm going to add a wee splash of butter. I love my butter. Turn up the heat a little bit. We're going to melt our butter. And we're just going to taste our wee stuff. Jesus and the butter. And I'll just get a wee plate. And turn up the heat. And this is exactly the same when you're making uh, steaks. Put them in a big plate. We're going to let them rest for like five or six minutes. Let all the juices then come back into the steak and the pork chop again. Okay, that's our apples ready. We're just going to put them in our processor. Skin and all. Seeds.
got a lump of it. Our seeds. Whatever's left of the skin on that. That's it. Let's set that to the side. Put on our potatoes. And a quick heat. Quick. A pork chop. I should have put pork chop. Coming out of applesauce. And that's our sugar pit pork with bubbles quick and applesauce. Check out the rest of my recipes on the Isolated Chef. Thank you. Bye bye bye.